Hi everyone, this is Aya from Voya Neo and today I'm going to be taking you through creating a living room design. So for this living room design, I do have it combined with a kitchen area, so I already have that space built out and ready to go. From here, I do like to start with placing a rug in this space just because um, it gives me the area for where I want to place my furniture. So I'm going to start off with the rug and resize that and have it fit the size in the area that I want it to go to. From here, I'll also place um, my furniture in 2D mode just so I can resize it from the bird's eye view. Um, yep. So start with the first sofa, the second one, and have my chair there. So I'll just click and drag all of them and then I'll worry about rotating and resizing them afterwards. And then I do want this sofa to be a bit larger. So I'll just resize it this way. And rotate the chair around. I do want two of these chairs, so I'm going to clone that just so that when I do change the texture, it will place the same texture on them both simultaneously. So now I'll come into 3D mode and see how that's looking and we can see that the living room is already coming together. From here, I will change the texture of the chairs first so that I am done with placing the main pieces of furniture and I'm going to be turning it into a brown velvet texture. And we can see how every piece um, of like the cushion and the pillow and the actual chair, you can place the textures individually on each piece, which really gives you ability to customize um, your pieces more. From here, then I'm going to put in the coffee table. Now, this is the look of the coffee table that I wanted for this style of living room and kitchen combined space, but not the size. So that's very easy to remedy just by resizing it. Now you can really see how quick it is um, to build a, a space like this. Um, it is pretty easy. And once you do get the hang of working with Foya Neo, it just becomes even quicker. So now after placing my, after placing my coffee table, I do like to go in with the last piece of furniture I have left, which is this end table. Now I do like the look of this end table, but it is again, pretty small. So, I'll resize it to have it look exactly how I want it to be. And that's the beauty of this is that no matter the look um, of anything from within the catalog, you can change the color, the texture, the sizing of it and really have it be work perfectly for your space. There we go. So, <clears throat> so that's the look that I want for the end table. And I am placing a lamp on top of that. So I'm just going to place my lamp here and then free movement so I have the ability to move it wherever I want. There we go. Now I have the basics like I said. Um, now what I do like to do is go in with my decorative items and finish off the space. So I will start off with a tabletop plant. I like to place some books as well. This one is pretty small, so resizing it. Going in with another book and a decorative tray. So that's my coffee table done. I'll then go in with the cushions that I do want to place um, on the sofas. So I do want to work with this white pillow first. Now sometimes um, if it ever gives you trouble placing pillows or cushions on top of sofas or even beds, uh, I do like to place them onto the floor. That way I can just drag them up and um put them wherever i want them to be i find that a little bit easier so we'll have that in place like that <clears throat> now i do want this one 
to be pretty long and go all the way across so I will resize that to do exactly what I want it to and there I'll add any other cushions that I want again same thing placing them onto the floor and then dragging them where I want them to be Now this one is pretty large, so I will resize that. And I would do the same thing for every cushion that I want for the sofas. Um, I hope that this video has been helpful and this is how the final renderings looked for this space after putting in all of the final touches. So as we can see here, this is what um, it looked like. So I hope that this video was informative and happy designing everyone.